see it isn't punished. So they're just going to do it some more. So toxicity in the game, it's, it, it's, it's on the players, yes, but it's on Riot more than the players. Riot could deal with these problems, they choose not to. So yeah, we are going to rush Anathemus. Kind of sucks I didn't get MR because this lane's going to suck. We're ba like, this is another lane where I basically have no agency. The only agency I have is the ability to run away. Because my E cooldown is on a, sh a similar or better cooldown than his. And I can always use my E to buffer his. So, yeah. Good, then Tom, we're doing reading Nara's message. Oh god, what the fuck did he type? 30 seconds until minions spawn. Better top lane. Son of a bitch. See, this is what I'm talking about. That sort of toxicity is not punished. I didn't report him, but I can assure you, if I did report him, literally nothing would have happened. He wouldn't have even known a report was sent his way. He just would have gone about his day the same way he's going right now, knowing that the next game he could do the exact same thing and nothing will happen. Minions have spawned. I am stronger than man. Stronger than machine. Slip throat is too painless. Not enough people are reporting them. Well, that's another problem, is that when you see your reports literally result in no punishments, it will discourage people from reporting as well. It's, th like, everything that's right is doing is wrong. Everything. I can't actually think of something they're doing right. Like, the new stuff they're proposing sounds good. But, frankly, it's it's a drop in the fucking ocean. It's not, it's not one of those things that will seriously fix stuff. It will... It'll just make some things slightly better if we're lucky. If that. And yes, Mordekaiser, Training Wheels Champion. I haven't mentioned it yet because I should. Mordekaiser is the Training Wheels Champion in the game. If you want to learn how to play a skill shot champion, you've never done it before, you pick up Mordekaiser because he is the easiest champion in the game with skill shots. His skill shots are so easy to land, sometimes it's it's hard to miss. Like, you could try, like, seriously, I can get behind him, Mordekaiser, his Q will still hit me. His Q, wait, his Q just hit me there. You guys saw that, right? Even though I dashed out before the Q was supposed to connect, it's still connected. Incredible. See, this is what I'm talking about. Even when I did everything right, his Q still hit me. I had the shield, which is the only reason I didn't take any damage, but... Look, look at that. So yes, I've had situations where I literally use my E on the more. He starts the Q before my E connects. I flip him and then the Q goes through and the Q will still hit me even though I'm now behind him. I'm literally on the opposite side of him and his Q will still hit me. Oh God. Why, why do we have the Tristana again? Okay, good. The Tristana got the kill, but it's still a two for one. Not worth. Oh. But yeah, we're rushing Anathemas against Mord because once he hits six, I can't actually beat him in a duel. And I might not be able to beat him ever again. Dang, Echo would have had a good opportunity to gank right now. He's not even gonna bother. Ah, too late. He'll get the ward at least, which is nice. And with the wave state the way it is, the Mord's actually in a lot of trouble right now. The Mord can't walk up. Not without knowing where the Echo is, and he can't know where the Echo is. He just knows the Echo is topside. Ah, I missed two of those. I'm not farming as well this game as I did last. Still better than him, but that's mostly because of the, his push timing and the Echo An timing. That was a good game. But the Mord basically, um, he did that to himself. 
the the Echo just um, took advantage of the mistakes that the Mord made. He actually forced the mistake because he cleared the ward at the perfect timing. Unfortunately, though, um, the rest of the team ain't doing so hot. Nice, I actually got all that CS. So now I have a 10 CS lead and a kill. Feels good. But right now we gotta be worried because uh, their mid lane's doing well and their AD carry's doing well. The Echo got off one good gank, but the current situation ain't great. And the Mord will outscale me, at least until I got Anathemas. Once I have Anathemas, I can do stuff, but if, if shit goes wrong too quickly, Anathemas will literally do nothing for me because the laning phase will end. Once the laning phase is done, having Anathemas on him doesn't do anything. Because I'm not going to be finding myself in duels against him. Get that CS. But yeah, it's pretty frustrating that I need to use an ability that costs a lot of mana to counter an ability of his that costs literally nothing. I wonder if he saw that ward die. Not that it matters. Damn it, I got neither of them? Are you fucking kidding me? Like, that's so frustrating that every single time I do that, that's 60 mana gone. I do love how my my E costs more mana, uh, excuse me, my Q costs more mana than my E. Despite my E being a dash and CC and my Q being a ridiculously weak poke ability that slows. It's actually crazy that the, that's the dynamic that Riot chose. Urgot's Q should cost the same or less, it should cost less than his E. Not the same, it should cost less. Come on, do it. Wow, I didn't get that either. Of course I didn't. I'm missing so much CS, just bad luck here. I'm still up 10 farm though. My shit CS is better than his shit CS at least. Thing is, I know I can't fight him right now, because he's 6. And him being 6 means I can't fight him. Because he presses a button and immediately makes me too weak to fight back. Didn't get it. More using E cooldown buff to its fullest. Yeah, he's just spamming it. For a champion that already feels like one of the easiest skill shot based champs in the game. Yeah, he's just spamming. See, I, I physically can't beat him in trades, even when I do everything right. I buffered the CC. I buffered the CC with my E. I landed everything. And then once he popped that shield, I can't actually do any more damage to him and I back off. Doesn't matter, still can't do shit. All right, let's see, what am I doing? I want this, this, perfect. out of range to buy a potion. Alright, well, now that I got a full... I actually have Anathemas on my first back. That's really nice. Which means that now if he tries to all in me, it won't work. I'll survive. That's always the problem when it comes to both Trinomir and Mordekaiser. You need to be able to survive through their ults. If you survive through their ults, you'll win. Post up. Free nine, that's not necessarily true. So enemy team already has a substantial lead. Lovely. Though it's still this game's looking slightly better than the last one. Oh we know their jungle's top side, he's a J4. At least their ultimates are mutually exclusive. He either one uses it or the other. They can't both use their ults on me at the same time. Man. 
You would hate to look at the Mord buffs. But... Are there more Mord buffs? Did you just... See here. Oh. You wanna ult me? He's so fucked. Die, you piece of shit! See? This is what I'm talking about. This is literally what I'm talking about. If I can survive his ultimate, I win. And as you guys see, that's the Anathema's edge right now. Without Anathema's, he kills me. Like, it, it's as simple as that. Without Anathema's, he kills me. Why? Wow, wait, our team just got a whole bunch of kills. That's the Anathema's edge! This item... Revolutionized my play experience against certain champs. Um, and now we go for damage. I can't wait for this, can I? No, I can't get that. That's pretty good. But how nice is that? I know this item doesn't look... Wait, actually, that's a claw. Wait, why does it say Anathema's Chains? I just see a hand. Claw. The Claw of Doom. Oh, Quaid's fed. All right, this game we have a good shot now. I'm crushing a Mord in the 1v1. And uh, Quaid's fed. As uh, Cassiopeia. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Did you not learn from our last fight? I'm getting one, right? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. If my Q had landed, I think... Uh, not I think, I would have killed him. It has enough damage, it would have killed him. He flashed past it, so... Unfortunate. I did manage to dodge the flag and drag. So I got both of their flashes, that's cool. That's what it required for them to kill me, is two flashes. And he gets... And the best part is, I'm winning this lane. And the Mord just now got two kills worth of gold. Literally countered all of the hard work I did up until this moment. Why exactly? Can you tell me why the Mord just got two kills worth of gold? I've been playing this lane extremely well up until this moment. I got two kills, one at the hand of the Echo, one at my own hands. But the Mordekaiser gets one gank and immediately, literally, literally turns the lane right there. As far as the gold is, is concerned. He actually is now ahead of me, potentially in gold because of that. If he were farming the same as me, he would, he would right now actually be ahead of me in gold. If it wasn't for the fact that I'm doing that much better than him. But again, it's stupid that he just got two kills worth of gold right now. It's really fucking stupid. An enemy has been What's with all these fucking pink words you keep dropping? Nicely done. Oh. Is J4 here again? You dead now, buddy. You dead now. Just die. Accept your fate. You're dead. Once it's a 1v1, you can't win anymore. I'm just gonna keep an eye. Thank you for that, Quaid. Thank you so much. I got teleports of Quaid means man can TP back. Looks like Quaid doesn't work it. Awesome. Yay, we both get health. And nice, our bot lane's actually doing better than theirs. Not by much, but they are indeed doing better. I'm heading towards mid, though it doesn't look like they need me. That was nice. That was nice that the Trinomir showed up, and it was nice that it failed. 
Also, notice how their jungle already has Boar Drinker. None of the solo laners on their team have their mythics yet. I'm here. <laughs> Holy shit, thank you so much there. Create Minecraft here. Hmm? Yeah, you better run. Yeah, you better run. Do you fucking know what... Love what Anathemas does against these hard matchups. Literally makes this a tolerable lane. Because now he doesn't just do mind blowing damage. Now I can actually all in him and potentially. No. A little more damage. A little more. A little more. Hit, hit him. Come on. Come on. Ah! Whatever. He's still gonna die. Nice, we got good allies this game. Oh, like night and day. Like fucking night and day, man. When you get good allies, you win games. It's as simple as that. Our Echo is doing better jungler wins. There it is. There it is. Last game, the better jungler was the enemy Shaco. This game, the better jungler is our Echo. Be better jungler wins. Mint to $5 donation. Well, thank you so much. Your generosity is appreciated. Wait, can I take this too? Not Quaid. Good luck in your 1v1 against the Mord. He's pretty weak, but it is Mord. And he got him. And I just got another 600. Tasty, tasty cash. I am so fed. I am so fed. So very fed. I think I should probably swap the target on my Anathemas now. I'm not afraid of the Mord anymore. Um. Yeah, Tabby. Like, maybe I want to put it on the Trinomir or something. I, I don't know who to put it on. So there's the. You look very happy. Because I'm having fun! Because we're winning! God, what a difference uh, a lead makes. Dragon's up in 30 seconds. I think I'm going to join for that. Yeah, look at, look at that. Our Echo is kicking ass. Our Trist is kicking... Everyone on our team is doing well, so we're having fun. Oh, that hook! Oh, that hook was beautiful! Unfortunately, it wasn't enough to stop him from dying, but that still works out. Notice me that I can even e buffer the dragon. Uh oh. I do hope that Trinomir is not coming for the dragon. I'm not 13 yet, so my damage is actually rather some part of the guy. Thank goodness for this. Alright, you screwed. Where are you going so fast? And there it is, the double. The casual double! I'm sorry, Mord, why are you here? Why are you here? Go off to a side lane where I'm not there. You go anywhere where I'm there, you're gonna lose and you're gonna die. I've ensured of it. Good luck, Wade. Ah, uh, Wade's dead. 
Nice try. Nice try. I saw what he was going for. If he managed to live after the ult, I think he could have killed the, uh, the Lucian. Damn, that's a shutdown right there. Did I rush Anathemus? Yes, I did. I got Anathemus first into the Mord, and look what it did. Look what it did. If I were up against the Trend, I would have done the exact same thing. Just get Anathemus first and use it on them. Now I do have to kind of worry because... Oh my. I mean, I'm very strong right now. Their Trindamir only has one item. I'm, I'm at more than two. Ward right there. Hi there, how you doing? I'm 13, you're 12. Be afraid. How did... <clears throat> the turret just keeps shooting me. <clears throat> Yeah, he can't even farm. Look at this. Whatever, I can take turret shots. I'm beefy. I'm big. I got a ward in position. Three of them are dead. This turret's fine. That's another 600 gold to my name. Oh, we is rich, boys. We is rich. I say you, he did. I don't know why I'm this fast. The Colonel. Well, I am mind blowingly wealthy. Oh, he's out. I'm not going to be able to kill him now. I'm here. Hey there, how you doing? Aw. Uh, fuck. He's out. Is he out? Is he out? Nah, he's dead. Oh. Yeah, he's dead. I'm coming for you, Trend. I just wasted my... Uh. Good luck, I, I was fine. Fine, I'm going for the damn moo cow. <laughs> Hi there, how you doing? Whoops. Oh, they surrender. How nice it is to sneak up on a Trinomir when his alt is down. Oh, how nice it is. Hey, we had fun. Whoa. Because we were on the winning team. We had the good jungler. Yay. Uh, nicely done. I know I'm talking about us having the good jungler and still honoring the mid lane, but still. He kicked ass, so. Our jungle did better, but he did kick ass. Wow, I'm number three in gold on my team? That's crazy. How? I got two tier two turrets, the top and bot one. That's 1,200 gold there. I had an extra 30 CS on our on our AD carry and um, an extra 20 CS on our jungle. And although I'm behind a lot in kills and assists, that 1200 gold should go a very long way. I'm shocked, I'm shocked. I should have had more money than that. But yeah. Night and day, man, fucking night and day. Our Tristana this game versus our Tristana last game. Our jungle this game versus our jungle last game. And Quaid's laning phase versus last game's Quaid's phase. Time for Zachary, that is correct. It is Zach time. So, let's do that. I like it, Quaid has, 